Heat is the most commonly used form of energy. In this context, in 2011, the International Energy Agency estimated that the global energy loss through waste heat accounts for two-thirds of the overall energy production. Therefore, methods suitable for reduction of waste heat or reutilization thereof could contribute significantly to a sustainable energy management. Researchers from all over the world are investigating methods for the storage of excess heat. For this purpose, a team from the Teuvin investigated reversible chemical reactions based on gas solid systems. Heat is consumed to decompose a suitable material. When the reactant comes into contact with the reaction product under liberation of heat, the initial material is regained. Researchers have developed a thermochemical process based on copper salts and ammonia. Once the copper salt comes into contact with ammonia, a highly exothermic reaction starts, immediately resulting in the formation of the ammonia complex of the copper salt. To regenerate the cycle, waste heat is used to decompose the copper complex, liberating the ammonia. The ammonia is stored until the stored heat is needed. Within 10 seconds, temperatures rise above 250 Celsius. Unusually high energy densities are achieved. For example, in 250 grams of the material, enough energy is contained to boil one litre of water. By impregnation of clays and other porous inorganic supports with copper salts, matrix-supported energy storage materials are obtained. Combinatorial systems simplify the handling and retain the properties of the original material. Potential applications of such high-performance energy storage materials are found in all areas, where a sudden heat production by non-electrical means is required. This could allow, for example, to preheat a car catalyst, decreasing the greenhouse gas output on a cold start of the engine.